Hello good dear viewers. In this tutorial, we are going to introduce the topic coordinate geometry. We have two things here, the coordinate and the geometry. Let me start with geometry. In mathematics, geometry is concerned about shapes. Uh, you know we have different shapes. A straight line, which is one dimensional figure. A two dimensional figure, such as cycle, triangle, rectangle, and so on, general polygons. We have three dimensional tank, uh, a cylinder, all of these are three-dimensional figures. So it is concerned about these shapes, including their dimension, their distance, and even angles of tended. What about coordinate? Coordinate is just a point on a plane. A plane here, I mean the Cartesian plane that contain X and Y. So coordinate geometry is concerned about these geometric figures on a plane. What is a plane? This is how a plane looks like. This is a plane. We have the X axis and we have the Y axis. This is a plane. And every point on this plane is called a coordinate. So coordinate geometry is concerned about these shapes on the plane. We may have a line segment. This is a line segment. This is a line segment. This a line segment, we can call this point A and this point B. We can measure the distance of AB because every point has a coordinate X and Y. This also X, Y. The corresponding value of X at that point together with the corresponding value of Y at that point. Likewise, the other end. So we can calculate the distance of this line. We can calculate the midpoint. That is the point halfway between A to B. We can calculate the slope. And we may also have other plane figures such as rectangle. I can draw another one like this. A, B, C, D. Can you see that? Uh, this is a polygon on a plane. So in general, Coordinate geometry is concerned about these shapes on a plane. Through this idea, we can compute for every distance provided the points are given. So subsequently, we're going to be talking about uh, these shapes, how to calculate their distance apart from one point to another, how to calculate the midpoint between two points, and how to calculate the slope of any given line, including the equation of that line. Gradually, we are going to cover all plane figures on a plane. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.